Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Clockwork Empires. We're doing stuff. Things are happening. It's not great. I believe our carpenter is going insane. Slightly. Slowly. Uh, massively. It's fine. Uh, we have people resting and trying to recover from all the crazy and chaos that has ensued as of late. And, yeah, I think it's kind of working. We have the laborer's bunkhouse here. Somehow we're going to have to get them up and running a little bit better. Their quality is minus five. Right now, can we still only have two laborers? We have two out of six, but we can't pull anyone else in. And I don't know why. That's like, is it each day? I, I don't remember. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll all come together <clears throat> totally without any problems whatsoever. What's with all the weird, um, things? Are they saying that they require... No. I don't understand. Like, what are these symbols for? What do, what do they mean? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I do want to make some beds here soon. That's kind of the, the plan. The practical beds. We'll craft those as soon as we have the ingredients for it, so that should help out. Somehow we have to upgrade this to be less terrible, and I don't know how that's going to be a thing that we do. Uh, ceramics, a bucket of ink, brick, bric-a-brac from stone, and then that should allow us to come over here maybe, and... No? What's wrong with the practical? We need five planks, okay. Um, we can build some other cool things that might make stuff a little bit less terrible. Huh. Like a standing desk might be okay inside there, and a chalkboard and a spice rack. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we can put inside the bunkhouse that would make it less terrible to be inside. Looks like these things are what they want. And in order to do that, we need a bunch of other random stuff. Uh, we need to be able to build a rare painting. We have a lot of needs right now. Uh, let's just leave it at that. We have a whole ton of needs. We have a lot of stuff that we gotta get done. I believe our kitchen was making farmer stew. That should make some folks happier. I don't know how much, ing how many ingredients we actually have. Or what we necessarily need. Raw vegetables. So if we're pulling in corn, apparently we can make it. We also have some grape bushels over there and some fungus, or fungi as it were. Just a loaf of bread and some other random stuff. I mean, we have things laying around that we're doing. We're clearing the terrain and all sorts of other little random jobs. I mean, we're getting stuff done. No longer maddened, that's good. Now, if only we could get some more planks going our way. It's like we have a total of what, four planks? Yep, we need more. We need more planks and therefore we need more wood, but we have wood laying all over the place, so we don't really need more wood. We literally just need more planks. There's so much stuff just laying around doing nothing. Alright, what if we go over here to Lucinda and we steal the farmhand and we put it over here to help Lucinda because she's just not doing her job. We need her to do stuff and she's not doing it. It's not great. It's not great. Alright, so now we have the worker actually doing something useful, which is fantastic. And maybe we can actually get the... she's sweeping. Maybe we can actually get the, uh, the beds made. Oh, well, looks like that might actually be the case. She had to put them all into one pile and then carry them out. Hey, she did it! She's a heroine! Family research. What's this? Tobias seem, 
Steamsley has taken up the study of genealogy and has been poring over documents related to the Steamsley family tree. After some time studying, he declares his discovery that Lucinda De Denman is actually a distant relative. How lovely! Are you sure you want to be hooked up with her? I mean, she's a little cray cray. There, there's definitely a little bit of insanity there. I don't know if you really want to be related to her. That seems dangerous. Can you go and build the bed inside the... Is that a thing that somebody can do? Like anyone? Like, I'm, I'm happy that you're, like, rearranging everything. That's cool. But... Would like to get some beds in these other houses if we could. Practical door. It does seem to be... Like, everything seems to be built. See, there's planks laying all over the place. Oh, we built the two beds. Alright, well, let's see what we can build next. Alright, workbench. What are we going to build? I guess a... Can we build a clothesline? No? Okay, what about modules here? Uh, a simple cabinet. Maybe we can build that. Can we build a simple cabinet? No. Is this an assembly workbench? Is that what this is? Yeah. Hmm. Might have to pause again. Gotta figure out what we need to build. Man, that save is very intrusive and it takes quite a long time. Oh, you know what? We didn't actually put the beds down, so that's why they're not there. Alright, that makes sense. Let's go to the overseer house. Let's go ahead and plop down the beds. Put it right there. Put it right there. So now we have two of those done. That's fantastic. Alright, I would like to see what other crafting benches we can make. The assembly, the ceramics, and the chemistry. Okay. We're still not able to pull in any more people. We have room for up to six laborers and a total of nine overseers. However, we're not getting those. The Empire withholds uh, immigration. Due to your exceedingly low standing, the Empire is withholding potential immigrants from your colony. Use a foreign office to recover relations. Fish people of vandalism. A fish person has witnessed destroying or has been witnessed destroying colonial property again. We cannot allow these fish people to rampage about smashing cabbages and def sorry defacing structures. Uh, how shall you respond this time? Let's solve our problems with words rather than violence. The monsters shoot them all. We must punish the fish, fish person, a vandal. Let's do nothing for now. We don't want to cause a fuss. Let's solve our problems with words rather than violence. Uh, make farmer stew complete. Ten of those. Cool. Um, okay, that means that we should probably choose a new thing to make. How about some maize chowder? Or maybe we could do some cooked meat. If I do a couple of those, we'll say five of those. Okay, so a foreign office. Foreign outreach, foreign office. And what goes inside a foreign office? Let's go check that out real quick. Foreign office. A standing desk. A bureaucrat's desk, an ornate cabinet, an ostentatious carpet, and a wall-mounted aurochs head. Huh. Fun. Alright, well, let's go to here. A foreign outreach office, huh? Well, I want a little... No, I want a little bit more leeway than that. There we go. How about a... About a five by six? No, we want to have seven by six, probably. Yeah, something like that. That seems okay. We'll say done. There's plenty of stuff laying around, guys. 
get it done. Property destruction. I might, I might have to kill you, dude. You keep coming around and messing up, messing with us. She's actually improved a lot with her uh, military training. Like, I remember when she had, like, an almost empty bar. Now, like, I just saw her there a second ago. She's doing push-ups. Her bar was almost full. How's Uriah doing? Uh, he's not doing super hot, but he's there. What are you doing, dude? Assign this laborer, laborer to an overseer? I don't... Do I have a fish person as a laborer? That doesn't make any sense. You guys better not do anything that you're going to regret, because I will take you out, and I will cut you, and you do not want to be cut. What are you doing? What are you doing inside my, my town, man? What are you doing? Well, scratch yourself in front of me. Get out of here. Uh, Lucinda, what are you doing? I'm sure there's something you could be doing that's not just useless, so why don't you do some of that? Well, let's go take a look real quick inside the uh, foreign office. What is going to go in here? A standing desk. Alright, so we'll start with a standing desk. So that's something we're going to need. So let's build that up. Give you something to do. You're... Huh. How did we do that? Can I destroy that building? Like, I mean, it's fine, but it's weird. How did I do that? Let's just take the building out. I'm going to rebuild it, restructure it. I know, guys, this is terrible. We don't want to ever do this. Yeah, just destroy. Just, just, just demolish the building. Make it a thing. Come on. Why are you walking in place, dude? There's nothing happening. Can anybody do anything that I've asked them to? I feel like my guys are just like, you yeah, know, we could be doing stuff, but instead of doing things that we're supposed to be doing, we're just gonna instead stand here and walk in place. Look at them. They're all bugged out. She's running in place. I don't know what's going on. This dude's still standing over here. Guys? Really? Nothing? Oh, why? Why am I surprised? Hello? Guys, you, you, you can't just... Put... Hmm. It's tea time, and it doesn't look like time is actually advancing in any way. I think everybody has bugged out. Like, creating this has actually caused us to be... Like thrown into a, a dark oblivion or something. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I don't have any idea. Guys, come on. Oh, there it goes. I think Uriah is coming to destroy the. Ten I. I don't. I have no idea. Guys, I want this place destroyed though. That's like the plan. So can you just destroy that? Oh snap! You're shooting at people. What are you doing? Okay, so that happened. The game bugged down on us a little bit there. It's fine. We've recovered. Now, how did we... How did we build, like, extra... Oh, we can... Oh, I didn't know we could do it that way. That's cool. So we can actually change up the, like, the layout of the... We can, don't just have to go with a rectangular area. That's pretty neat. I like that. I'm going to go with a 7x6, though. We don't want the extra areas laying around, so. We'll have those get rebuilt. We'll, of course, add the door on, because we are not savages. Well, we are, but we're not that savage. We want to have some doors and stuff. I mean, I like how they don't want you to have a room at all. Or, uh, sorry, windows. They're like, you're a bureaucrat. You don't need windows. Who uses windows? Happy people. Oh, there's a hostile fish person? Oh, we wrecked him! What? Get handled, buddy! 
That's pretty awesome. <gasps> we can dissect the fish person? Oh, I want to do that. Is that dissect or disrespect? Dissect, it is. Yeah, I want to dissect it. Yeah, it's going to happen. Deal with it. Who gets the bed? Edwina. Aw, it's so cute. Lucinda's over there. Yeah, there's another place over here. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that's not, like, nightmare-inducing. I like your hat, though. Like, you should leave. Like, I'd be pretty freaked out if I woke up and you were just, like, standing there. Oh, see? Yeah, exactly. 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 That's exactly the same... <laughs> that's exactly how I would feel. Man, this is creepy. This is just disturbing. A lot of idle people. Nobody's really doing much. This is kind of ready to be built. It's just not done yet. But once it is, then we have to actually put people in there. I mean, eh. We're getting there. Nobody dissected this guy yet. What's that? Standing desk. Ah. Let's have to finish up building the stuff over here. Athena Strong Tonic's going to take care of that. Once we get the foreign office built, we should be able to actually start getting some more people in. And we theoretically will stop bottlenecking. What are you carrying, buddy? A box practical bed. Why? Oh, because this one's not built yet. Okay. Well, why was it down there? Where were you going with that thing? That would explain why no one decided to sleep in the other bed. What are you doing? Uh, okay. You're, you seem to be a little tired. The foreign office is built. Now we just have to get the rest of the stuff built. The door and then the desk. And, of course, we need to actually put someone in charge of that. And right now, I guess Tobias is maybe the best one. Oh, let's see here. We'll pause, we'll see. How's Tobias? Art of War skills, not very good. Happy traits, no traits. What do you got for me? Smithing and stoneworking. And do you have naturalism? Well, guess what? You're going to have to deal with it. Uriah's handling business. What are we doing over here? We don't know yet. Okay. Standing desk. It's fine. Imagine at some point we're going to need a laboratory, too. Okay. We're occulted. Bureaucratic forms needed. Work crew will resupply office. Resupply this office, uh, this foreign office with crates of paperwork. <laughs> okay. And then the Clockwork Empire. Apparently our standing is super low. Insufficient diplomatic points. Do we have any? I don't know how this works at all. I have no idea. Write an honest assessment. Changing the faction you are generating diplomatic points for will erase all diplomatic points. Sure you want to do this? No? Who am, I, who am I currently doing this with then? Do we know? I assume it's the Clockwork Empire. Like, that would make the most sense, right? Foreign office is unsupplied. Operated by Athena, strong tonic is out of bureaucratic forms. Produce more bureaucratic forms so diplomatic efforts can continue. How do I do that? I gotta make paper bundles, which maybe I can do over here? No. I don't see paper bundles. Ah, paper stacks. Okay. I can. I'm going to do ten of those right now. A standing desk in a room with no windows. It's going to be interesting. Alright, double beds there. I don't know why we have planks laying all over the place over here. I don't know why. We need a module of some sort. 
What are those? What are those windows? Let's take a look over here. Fancy window. All right, so we're gonna need to build a module for a fancy window. Is that a thing that we can do? If it is, how and where do we do it at? Not from there. Not from there, not from there. Well, I don't know. That explains why there's all the stuff laid out, though. We don't have the modules, and that's one to there, 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 one to there. there. Alright, it all makes sense now. It's all coming together. I have no idea where we would make that yet, but we're figuring it out as we go. Guys, are you actually... You're hug, what, what is this? Get out of the house. Or the building. Come on. Get out of there. Stop freaking out. Get to work. We need paper bundles. I think I should probably chop down some more trees, too. Alright, let's chop some trees there. Um, a couple more over here. Let's get that tree out of the way. Some trees over here. Keep you guys busy. When you're not busy, you're 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 scaring me. So let's not scare me anymore, if we could. Combine some surface nodes there. And hopefully, the folks that are not doing specific things. Our disturbance is 31. The amount your colony has disturbed its local area, perhaps awakening that which is best left undisturbed. Disturbance is increased by building more structures. Fantastic. All of those things sound bad. Oh, she's doing stuff. Okay. Paper bundles. What is she doing? Is she getting more paper? Or is she going to bed? Thunk. <laughs> she's just like, nope, I'm done. Are we working on the local bandits? Like, how do we know who we're... Oh, we did one for the Clockwork Empire. Okay. Alright, and then once we get... Various different points, we can do an excellent... Alright. So let's see here. Um, write an honest assessment. Let's see what that is. Uh, change to current faction standing. Five change to current faction, fa uh, faction standing. Dutifully write up an accurate report on the current state of the colony. The ministry always appreciates timely reports. Uh, an excellent opportunity. What is that going to do? Oh, it just changed. Oh, we can get foods. Oh, so it changes. Okay, fabricate a series of highly detailed events describing the taming of the wilderness and the bringing of prestige to the empire. Write letters of praise. Write a series of flattering letters to various bureaucratic figures promising gifts and mutual co uh, cooperation. We can get some more food supplies, but that lowers our faction standing. Interesting. That is a weird mechanic, not something you see very often. Alright, Edwina, I'm going to give you back your, uh, your person. Carpentry has kind of dried up a little bit here, so let's get back to you and your farming. Alright, so how, how quickly is the bureaucratic stuff going? We have two. What the heck just happened? An airship has crashed. An airship crashed near our colony. Oh, the humanity! That was really close to our... Holy crap. Can we... Can we... Can we harvest this? Oh, harvest stuff with forage. Yes. Get over here. Pick up all this stuff. You know what? Your your loss is my very, very, very massive gain. Seriously, thing? Get out of my way. My very, very, very massive gain that I am going to totally utilize and enjoy immensely. Well, that was cool. Also probably terrifying in some way. Is there a thing, like, is there a way we can tell him to pick this up? Smell this, no, I, like, I'd love to. Can we, can we get that? I don't, I don't know if we're gonna actually clear any of that stuff out or what, but it's fine. Okay, boys, get back to work, or girls, or whatever. Make a stone... Okay, so that's done. That was what up over here. 
Uh, what's wrong with you guys? You can't do stuff. What is this? Don't need that bricks. You can't make any more bricks because you need clay. And you don't have any more clay. And then you can still do something. A bucket of ink. The foreign office and trading academy are more effective when supplied with ink. Let's do a couple of buckets of ink then. I think that's going to be okay. Uh, do, where are we going to get more clay at, though? That's the question. Oh, now what? Crash investigation. Okay. Just send, um, Tobias Steamsley. Why not? An airship has crashed alarmingly close to our colony. We're not sure from whence it came or who it belongs to, so mounting an investigation is both in our interest and our duty as clockworkian subjects. The Empire is, after all, a signatory of various treaties... Or treat treatises? I, I can never figure out what, how to say that word, guys. Treatises? I'm gonna have to look that one up. That that's been a word that I just I've not figured out how to. Uh, treaties is what I would think, right? Treaties? I mean that that's that's correct, right? Treaties? It just doesn't look right. My maybe that I'm just going crazy. It's fine. Anyway, related to the guarantee of safe and profitable airship travel amongst the great powers and their frontier. Z. Who shall we send? I'll just send Steamsley. Anyway, I, that's probably just treaties, but I always try to overdo it. It always looks to me like it's like treatises or treatises. I got nothing. It's probably treaties. It's fine. Should just go with my initial instinct, I suppose. Why are you freaking out? Because you saw fish people again? He's... Ah! <laughs> Oh, uh, they're very annoying. They, they really interrupt our work a lot. We need to get rid of these guys. What are you doing? Dude, you, you, you can't you can't just stay here, man. You gotta go away. Get out of here. Ah, oh, jeez. Like, what are you doing, dude? You're not a statue. Why are you in my- why are you in my town? Get- Lucinda's like, I've been waiting for this. Alright, so you're investigating that. We're actually out of time again. Well, it was a little bit of a slower and less awesome uh, time here. Actually, you're not even investigating yet. Where are you? Steamsley, what are you doing, dude? You have a job to do. What are you... Chop tree, that's your current job? Yeah, I think we're going to have to to cancel all of these things, like... What's your next job? What are you doing now? Can I can I prioritize you to go do your your one thing that you need to do? Do the research. Uh, Tobias Steamsley. Oh, he investigated the airship crash site among the burned wreckage. He found evidence of damage incurred by small ar fire small arms fire and many singed papers. Okay. Perhaps a diplomatic investigation handled through a foreign office could reveal exactly what happened. Have Athena do it through the... Okay. Alright, the investigation has started. Work on the special projects is being carried out. Or how long that's going to take. And I wonder how much we've gained for the Clockwork Empire. It's going to take a little while. You need to get away from us, buddy. Well, I want to get this thing finished before we do anything else. Oh, the body disappeared. Apparently we didn't know how to dissect anything. It's fine. What is that box? It's a boxed cot. It's still there. Alright, she's about to finish up her investigation. Okay. And is she done with it? She's should be done with it, but she's not. What is she doing now? Don't tell me she's like tired or something dumb like that. Up, just casually walk away and go to sleep because of reasons. Okay, so apparently she's got more investigating to do. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've kind of moved forward with our uh, objectives here. We got some stuff going on that's going to make us a little bit better off in the long run. Uh, we had an airship crash really close to us. We also scared off a few fish people. We harassed a few. We murdered one. Oh my god, that's a freaking what? in the world there's a rampaging bull going through our town and I hope it just avoids us because that was horrifying oh god it's coming back why why is that there that needs to leave anyway ladies and gentlemen that is a tale for another time I will be back probably on Saturday or Sunday or something along those lines with the next episode of it's doing bad things into our stockpile 
with the next episode of Clockwork Empires. Hopefully it all goes okay, but I have my doubts. Either way, folks, until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>